and welcome to the Saber Roar. I'm Alex. And I'm Hudson. And I'm Santa. We are never short of news stories here at the Saber Roar. Our school is filled with a variety of activities and talented students. Though some are finishing, many have just begun their season and will continue our school's tradition of excellence. This season has brought the FHS girls swim team much success, especially FHS junior Katrina, who continues to break our school's 6 and 11 dive records. Katrina's successful year carried on with a recent dive meet at West Ellis Hale High School where she broke the record again. I broke the record by 15 points. Ever since school started, I've been training in the morning at about 5.30 and I train at night about three hours. Last year's dive season, Katrina traveled to the WIAA state meet as a sophomore where she was close to meddling. As her hard work continued to pay off, Katrina had the opportunity to return to the 2013 state meet in Madison where she placed fifth among more than 20 divers. The school isn't the only part of FHS getting a facelift this year. The Sabre Slate has also taken in a new look and direction. The Franklin High School Sabre Slate has taken a big step from paper to digital this year, bringing it into the 21st century with a modern appearance and purpose. When you have a paper that's kind of, I guess, dying in a way, such as ours was, or not as popular, Going digital can be the best thing for it, and I saw a lot of cool opportunities there. The paper creates new opportunities, including the chance for more breaking news and greater accessibility to students. The paper is also the homepage of Chrome and Internet Explorer, and students are able to access it 24-7. Especially with all of the construction going on, we can um, let the student body know what's going on in the matter of seconds. Overall, the new Sabre Slate has been an exciting project that has grown to success and has become a great opportunity for students to get involved in their school and world. To see this amazing newspaper, go online anytime at www.saberslate.org. The website will also feature full episodes and extra behind the scenes footage of the Sabre Roar. To complement the fall play, Mrs. Benedict and other FHS administrators organized a senior citizen banquet. Senior citizens arrived at the high school at 4.30 to enjoy a three-course meal organized and served by Miss Champion and other volunteering students. Throughout the night, raffle prizes were awarded to many of the guests, and after dessert, the seniors made their way to the multi-purpose room to catch the fall play, Bame. This is our way of honoring their participation in the school and the sacrifices they've made to have their children come to the school and be a part of this community. Overall, the event was successful and many senior citizens left the school with high spirits. If you enjoy exploring creativity through art, then Art Club is the place for you. The Art Club advisor, Ms. Mercia, helps the students learn how to use their creativity to create art. We're going to do all sorts of activities ranging from clay to painting to drawing to abstract art, a little bit of art history. So we're going to kind of hit all the avenues in art just to give the experience to people who can't take the art classes. Students enjoy creating many projects during the meetings that have to do with the many elements of art. Pottery wheel. Students love it. I love it. It's very functional. You can make some um, flower pots. You can plant some flowers in the greenhouse, so you can utilize that. It's, it's great, and the kids love it, and it makes great gifts. The art club meets every other Tuesday in the art room from 3 to 4 after school. The club is year-round, so if you're interested in joining, contact the advisor, Mrs. Mercier. This year, there's an opportunity for students to show off their singing, dancing, and performing skills in the brand new show choir class taught by Ms. Schlecht. With the hype brought on by TV shows like Glee, schools everywhere have been adding similar classes to their course offerings. When I was in high school, I was in show choir and I really enjoyed it, so I decided to do auditions and we have a group of 22 students this year that are taking the class. In addition to learning performing skills, students also acquire much needed life skills. I think performing in general is really, really good for students. It kind of builds self-confidence and I think just in general building a repertoire of different types of music. To students interested in joining show choir, there are a few prerequisites needed to enroll in the class. The requirements to be in show choir are that you do have to be in another performing music ensemble and the reason that we do that is because we want to be able to learn all the techniques in our performing music ensemble and then it's expected that you know the music and you learn the choreography and focus on the performance. The goal for the group is to eventually be able to perform in show choir competitions around the state. But for now, catch their winter performance on December 19th. Once upon a time, FHS created a chess team. The chess season is well underway as the players patiently await their first competitive opportunity. 
this year the chess team is going to play um, at the conference level. The team will be competing in the North Shore Conference, comprised of schools such as Rufus King, Madison, Nicolet, Marquette, and many more. We'll play in a city tournament uh, next March as well as the state tournament in Oshkosh. Uh, we've had an increase of players, so I'm hoping that we do well in those three competitions. FHS chess team players and coaches look forward to an opportunity to take their first conference victory. For any questions about the chess team, please contact Mr. Wiedenhoff or Mr. Benish. The forensics team started practices last month, and they're off to a great start. Forensics is competitive speaking and acting, where throughout the season, students compete against other high school students in acting and speech categories. It's a really fun activity, and you can learn a lot about yourself when you do performances, and it helps improve your public speaking skills. Students have a lot of time to prepare for the state competition by participating in the multiple competitions held leading up to state. Competitions officially start January 18th. And our last competition is March 29th, and that's the state competition up in Ripon, Wisconsin. No prior experience in public speaking is needed to join forensics, and interested students should have simply talked to Mrs. Hepworth. Well, that wraps it up from us here at the Sabre Roar. I'm Hudson. And I'm Alex. Fun fact, the lighter was invented before the match. Don't stay up all night thinking. <laughs>